And as we said, once, once Dragon docks, it's going to be a pretty full house on station for a little less than a week. We'll have two Dragon vehicles uh, docked, the one that's now delivering Crew 4 and the one that delivered Crew 3 back in November of last year. Um, so both of our international docking ports will be taken up. Uh, we've got one Soyuz spacecraft that's currently docked to the Russian node module, uh, along with two uncrewed Progress and that uh, Cygnus that we saw uh, that's currently berthed. Uh, as we mentioned throughout the webcast, we're taking your, your questions from social media uh, using the hashtag AskNASA. Uh, we have a new one coming in, which is pretty on point for what you were just talking about, Dan. So I'm going to throw this one to you. This comes to us from at TLPN underscore official, the launch pad. Uh, the question is, how many bedrooms are there on station? Where will the extra crew be sleeping? Yeah, right now we have... Let me do the math in my head. We have seven bedrooms essentially on board the station. We have two in the Russian segment, uh, four in node two, uh, and then one in the European, the Columbus. We call it the CASA. I forget what the acronym is, but I feel like that was another one they made up the acronym and then filled it in. <laughs> um, so we've only got seven, and they're called crew quarters. They're essentially the size of a small closet, and that's your private space to yourself when you're living on board the space station. And so we're going to have 11 people on board for a short time, and so we do what we call camp out positions where uh, they just sit in temporary sleep areas where you can basically fix your sleeping bag to the wall. Uh, right, typically, there's microgravity, right? So it's not like you have to lay out a bed or anything. You, you sleep just sleep on the wall, floor, yeah. every, everything's a bed, essentially. Uh, we'll typically have one crew member stay inside the Dragon spacecraft, um, so I anticipate one of the crew members from uh, either Crew 3 or Crew 4 will be sleeping in a Dragon. Uh, we'll usually put one inside the Quest airlock, as that's when we're not actively doing spacewalks. That's one of the lowest traffic areas. Um, and then we'll just typically find us another space either in the Japanese module, uh, Kibo, or also inside Columbus, uh, where we can have them set up shop for a couple of days. That's a gorgeous view. Now, of course, there are still a few steps that we have to complete before Dragon is securely attached to station. Dragon SpaceX on the big loop. Soft capture ring retraction is in progress. There's our first full view of Dragon. Dragon Freedom attached to the International Space Station. Up next, we are uh, going to begin the hard capture sequence. That's essentially when we are engaging the hooks uh, around the docking mechanism. Well, unfortunately, we did have that video cut out right at that moment of docking, but it's great to see it attached now. Again, that initial contact, that docking time, 4.37 p.m. Pacific, 11.37 GMT, with Dragon and Station flying 261 miles over the central part of the Pacific Ocean. Freedom SpaceX on Dragon to Ground. I had you 5x5 five five on the cabin mic. Copy, thanks. Now that Dragon is docked, Tom Marshburn, as well as the rest of his crew, is securing some hardware and then moving right into the hatch operations. Following hatch open, the crew will configure Dragon for an on-orbit ops and get a safety briefing. A few hours after that, Russian cosmonauts will wake up to begin their day, which will include a spacewalk. They will also have welcoming remarks with the four crew for astronauts. Dragon SpaceX on Dragon to Ground. ISS crew, ISS crew has begun vestibule pressurization. Patients listening on the big loop. And Freedom's ready on the big loop. Houston is reconfiguring for hardline calm, calm during the next five minutes. You will be down, vehicle to vehicle, vehicle to vehicle, you'll still have Dragon to Ground, you'll still have Dragon to Ground, and Space to Ground. Houston, Houston is reconfiguring for hardline calm during the next five minutes. And that was Capcom Alex Kanalinkos here in Mission Control Houston relaying to the Dragon crew aboard Freedom that their calm to calm for station to Dragon will be down about five minutes, but they'd still have connection through space to ground and Dragon to ground to Mission Control Houston.
as astronaut Kayla Barron running through her procedures and checklists on her iPad collect Velcro to her leg as she's running through procedures to continue preparations for Crew 4's arrival and ingress out of the Dragon into the International Space Station. Dragon Houston, Station on, the Dragon, Houston on, the on the big loop. We are ready for we are ready for vehicle to vehicle voice checks on hardline. And station copies on two freedom how to hear okay, on the big loop. Just around two. And freedom on the big loop is ready for voice checks. And Freedom's ready for voice checks on the big loop. And Houston, Freedom, we have you loud and clear on station. And Station Freedom has you loud and clear also. Houston copies, good voice checks. Freedom SpaceX on Dragon and Ground, ready to copy. And we do have a go for hatch open, but we are waiting on the crew inside Dragon to finish some preparations and open the hatch. After the hatch is open, it probably will take another few minutes for the crew to ingress the space station and be welcomed to their new home for the next six months as a part of the Expedition 67 crew. They will continue to walk through some procedures as they ingress before ingressing the International Space Station. They are looking to install IMV ducting, mixing the air of the space station environment with the air inside the Crew Dragon Freedom. They'll seal some of the IO or lithium hydroxide cartridges that scrubbed carbon dioxide inside the Dragon capsule on the ride to the International Space Station. They'll check some vent valves as well as some vent wells as well, so they may be just a little bit more time until we welcome them on board. And Dragon Hatch is open and they are welcoming the Crew 4 astronauts on board. You see all smiles around as Jessica Watkins, Bob Hines, Samantha Christopher Reddy have ingressed and are hugging all their current 
crew three crew members. And last one in, we see Commander of Dragon, Chell Lindgren, now entering into in the International Space Station. currently looking at all eight crew members of crew three and four together inside the Harmony module welcoming the new crew aboard. Crew three and crew four will do what's called a direct handover. For the next five days there will be two dragons docked to the International Space Station. Crew three currently set to undock in just about five days from now. Station Houston on Space to Ground 3, no response required. Just letting you know, PWD is going to be down 10 to 15 minutes. Um, sorry for the timing, but... Uh, <laughs> And tell I'll owe you a beverage when you come back home. Houston Station IMV duct installation is complete. Go for IMV fan activation. Houston copies. 